All right, so let's go ahead and start a new game. We'll go after another easy one. Uh, don't start camp until day three. Uh, the only downside to this is we won't have any archers to fight the greed off, and we won't have any defenses. Like, we won't be able to do anything, basically. So we'll just essentially sit on spawn uh, and hoard off the greed with, uh, with coins. It'll basically be that. We're just gonna do that, and I guess we'll wait for, like... <laughs> Wait for like 12 minutes. I guess we could go looking out for chess, but we should be fine. We get 10 coins on the start. I believe the first two days are, or the first two nights are only one greed on each side. So four greed total, four coins. And then one coin for this. By that time, it'll be day three. So five coins total, I think. Just gonna be kind of boring to be honest, but that's about it. All right, it's the first night. Greed should have spawned by now. I'm gonna venture out to the left. Uh, see how quickly we can see a greed. There we go. We'll drop you a coin. They will ignore the vagrants that are at the camp. Drop that one a coin. And we are good for day two. There we go. Day two. Four more minutes and we'll have this achievement. I'm realizing now that I probably could have stacked this achievement with the kill nothing until day six achievement. I think it's called like uh, for five days I was like... I don't know, I, I was a pacifist or something like that. I don't remember what the actual achievement name is. Uh, but I probably could have stacked this one. I'm not going to attempt to now just because of chess. You know, I don't actually, you know what? That doesn't make any sense. I should at least try it. The only thing that we're going to have to do is go get chess. We will need the coins in the chest. So I'm going to attempt this um, because if we find greed, we can just toss him a coin. It's... I mean, there's really no downside. We just have to be back at camp by day three. We're not going to be hiring anybody anyway for either achievement. So I might as well just go for it. And then we'll just have three left. The three hardest ones, probably. No, I have two left. The two hardest ones. There we go. We have warded off that greed. Should be able to survive till at least, at least day three. We got one more coming over from the right. Another vagrant camp. Sorry, guys. Can't do much about it. Really hoping there's a chest out this way. Portal. Not ideal. Come on, chest. There we go. Perfect. I think we need both of them. I'm going to be honest. I think we need both chests. So I'm going to go as far as we can on this side. And then I'll go over to the... Uh, music's getting very loud. Uh, I'm going to go over to the right side and see if there's a chest there as well. Ooh. kind of want to spend the money on that guy. But I'm not going to. Okay. So the second chest, there are two chest spawns, I believe, on every uh, every island. And I might even be able to save a coin. I might even be able to save coins. We might even be able to make this easier if we are just all the way on one side of the map um, when the greed spawn. Because by the time they get to me, it may be more like the day may have turned already. And by that point, they will just rush back to the portals so it is day three we can go build up the camp and then we will go searching for the chest on the right side and then we may implement that strategy to hopefully kill nothing oh looks like never mind that strategy will not work because that greed is still hanging out so yeah we'll need that chest then you will definitely need that chest uh, the Blood Moon is kind of what I'm worried about. I should upgrade the camp as much as I can as well because we'll be able to get tax each day. I might upgrade it twice just to get that sweet tax. We'll only get it for days four and then five, and then by six it'll be useless. So let's go ahead and start this camp. And there is our achievement, the bottom right. Do not start camp until day three. Can we already upgrade this? No, we can't. Okay, let's go searching for that last chest. Didn't I discover that this portal is really close? It is, and one of them's gonna uh, hit me. There's that chest, nice and close. I don't th think there's three. If I wanna take advantage of that tax, I might need to do some math to see if it's worth it. The only thing I'm really worried about running out of money-wise, because that's how we're gonna fend off the greed, that's how we're not gonna kill anything, is the Blood Moon Day of Day 5. That's really the only, only thing I'm worried about. How many coins is that upgrade? I think this is like three, and then it might be worth it. I'm gonna check. I have concluded that I don't think it's worth it to upgrade the camp, um, because at this tier right now, uh, we will get five coins of tax. If we use three coins to upgrade it, 
Oof. Oof. Okay, that's not good. That that was not good. I thought we had gotten rid of the horde on the right side. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, like I was saying, the uh, first camp upgrade will give us five coins of tax each day. If I upgrade it using, I think, three coins uh, to tier two, it'll give us six coins. I don't think we'll make back those three coins. So, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. So, day four, still buying nothing. Uh, we need to survive tonight, which I'm guessing we'll have four greed, so four coins. I need to determine where that blood moon is coming from on night five. Because if it doesn't come from the right side, I just need to know where it's coming from. I guess, no, I really don't. As soon as I see it, I can just run the other direction. Um, the days leading up to that are actually more difficult because I'm getting attacked from both sides. Okay, let's check out the right side. I want to meet this horde early on one side or the other. It doesn't really matter which side, but I know the portal is close on the right side. I'm just going to chill at this vagrant camp. No, that's a bad... Uh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to happen. Oh, I shouldn't have chilled on the Vagrant Camp. Okay. That was a bad idea. Whoops. Man, I am just... I am just botching this completely. There we go. Don't... Don't come over here. You guys stay right there. All right. Okay. So, we'll get... We'll make it to at least day five. Uh, which means we only have one day left. Which is the Horde Knight. I don't know if I'm going to have enough coins. So I need to chill in a, a spot. It doesn't matter where there are no vagrants that are going to take my coins. All right, one night. One night, and it's a blood moon night. So it could be pretty hefty. I don't know how many Garid spawn. We should have plenty of coins. I think we have like 20, maybe. Maybe 15 minimum. All right, here we go. I believe the music is an indication that the greed have spawned. Uh, this is a blood moon night. So there will be lots of greed. Hopefully we have enough coins to get rid of them. And if we don't, we fail and we try again. Come at me, you heathens. I'm, re I'm ready for you. There we go. Get out of here. Go on, take my coins. Get out of here. Get out of here, Vagrant. We don't want you. One coin. <sighs> okay. That was a bit risky. It should have been further away from camp. But, uh... We got one coin. I believe that was the horde for tonight. I wasted a lot. I got hit a couple times. I think we're good, though. As soon as it turns day six, there it is. Kill nothing until day six. For five days, I turn the other cheek. That is going to do it for this uh, episode. We still have two more achievements that we need to clean up, which are... Uh, I believe don't let the money touch the ground. Well, the achievement is don't let the money touch the ground. It's either day eight or day nine. There's some conflict uh, conflicting reports. And then uh, don't run until day nine, but also maybe day 10. Uh, both of those achievements kind of have, again, conflicting reports on which day uh, it will give you the achievement. But they're both like mess up achievements. Uh, so I'm leaving them for last. I don't want to do those two. The other ones have been fairly easy. For the don't let the money touch the ground achievement, I don't really know what the strategy is going to be, but we can't get like too many coins. So we can't have too many archers. Or if we do, we can't really uh, expand out at all. We just cannot have too many coins. And if we start getting too many coins, I'm going to have to spend them. On something. So that one might not actually be that hard. Um, but the don't run one is going to be a pain in the ass. A bitch even. Because if you hold shift. Right. You're like oh I'm not going to run if I hold shift. But if you double tap. It also runs. So I may try connecting a controller. See if that's any easier. Double tap rule may also be in effect there. In which it would probably be harder. Uh, make the achievement harder because I feel like it's easier to double tap a thumbstick than it is to double tap a, a key. But uh, regardless, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll do those two achievements in the next one. And then we will get started on surviving until day 100.